What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and a brand new behind the scenes report on the Gina Carano firing has been put out by The Hollywood Reporter that offers a ton of new information. Uh, and also, I'm not going to bury the lead. It also reports in a follow up that Cara Dune will not be recast. And let me tell you why I think this is good. To me, Cara Dune is Gina Carano. There is no recasting Cara Dune. Much in the same way Tony Stark is Iron Man and you know Chadwick Boseman was Black Panther. You, you just can't recast these characters. Um, I had hoped, I, I guess like evilly, that uh, Disney would recast Cara Dune. And let me tell you why. The overwhelming majority of people that watch these programs, okay, that watch Star Wars, that watch WandaVision, all this stuff, they're normies, all right? They're not on Twitter all day. They're not watching my YouTube videos about The Mandalorian. They're going about their lives, enjoying things. Boy, <sighs> ignorance is bliss. Um, and if they had recast Cara Dune, it would have set off a domino effect of normies saying, wait a minute, that's not Cara Dune, and then have them research. And they would have seen a whole new wave of people pissed off at Disney and Lucasfilm uh, for firing her over her own personal opinions on Twitter. Uh, very mild ones at that. Uh, so I think it's fitting that they, that they end the character with Gina Carano because that is, uh, uh, they are synonymous, uh, at least to me. But this new report points out even more just pathetic, uh, spineless behavior by Disney. And by the way, if you're watching this video and you haven't yet subscribed, I sincerely hope that you click that red subscribe button down below the video. It helps support the channel, helps new people find me. And uh, that's already very difficult here on YouTube. If you're watching on Alt Tech, um, please subscribe on that platform, whether it's BitChute, Odyssey, Minds, uh, or Rumble. The ouster of Carano from the show draws ire of the political right wing. And again, I'm not a political commentator. I liked Gina Carano. Uh, it wasn't about politics in particular for me. It was about the specific removal of a political opinion. Um, and marks an inflection point for Lucasfilm, whose star was warned repeatedly about her social posts. Look, I, I really love how the people who are pro Gina Carano firing always seem to word it in this way. It's always a different slimy version of uh, freedom of speech does not mean freedom of consequences. <laughs> it's always some cringe rewording of that. Essentially, um, no, it isn't that she isn't, a, or, you know, look, what they wanted her to do was bend the knee and, and you know what? You could never have blamed her for it. If she had just said, look, I'm going to make $5 million over the next two years uh, guest starring uh, as Cara Dune or, uh, you know, uh, starring as Cara Dune, $10 million if I get a side. I'm just making up these numbers, right? Uh, you couldn't have held it against her. No reasonable person could. Uh, there's no reason to not secure your bag. That's number one. Um but what you have to respect is that she refused to bend the knee. She refused to be a political mouthpiece for Disney, as we saw in a previous report, where Disney typed up an apology for her and demanded she use their word-for-word -word apology to the pronoun brigade. Uh, and you see here, in a plot twist that no studio relishes, one of the high-profile stars sparks outrage with a controversial social media post. Again... It's because it's the wrong social media post, right? It's not, if she had said something like, oh, white people bad, men bad. I don't even have to freaking speculate. We saw Lucasfilm's official account come out and support uh, uh, their... Uh, New Republic show host who had written vile, hateful things about white people. They literally made a public endorsement of this bitch. All right? So don't act like the company doesn't want you to be political. 
You just have to have the right politics. And by the way, what's interesting to me is this doesn't even feel like a big... I thought she was making millions of dollars on The Mandalorian. Look what look what they write. In Carano's case, the move to cut ties had been brewing for some time. In the months leading up to Disney Investor Presentation Day, Carano's agents at UTA were negotiating to receive a sizable bump for the planned spinoff, Disney Plus Mandalorian. Okay, maybe. Cara Dune, the actress, sources say made twenty-five to fifty thousand dollars per episode of The Mandalorian. It was paused to touted. Uh, I'm sorry, was poised to be touted during the presentation with Ka which Kathleen Kennedy announced ten garbage spinoff shows. Now let me tell you, Gina Carano could make more money than this than uh, with her if she started her own YouTube channel. I I don't want to like be disrespectful. But people thinking this is a devastating financial blow, it's not. Making 50 grand a month on YouTube for Gina Carano would be easy. Carano was nowhere to be found during the lengthy presentation in the lead up to the event. Carano had become a lightning rod among Star Wars fans, disagree, uh, uh, among political pundits on Twitter, not fans of Star Wars. Fans of Star Wars don't give a crap. You think I ever wanted Mark Hamill removed from the Star Wars franchise because he is raging TDS? No. Did I want uh, uh, Pablo, uh, P Pedro, whatever, Pascal removed because he has TDS? No. Did I call for him to be fired from the show when he did the exact same thing Gina did? No. So... Only one side of the quote-unquote aisle demands people be fired, okay? Now, two months later, a deal for her spinoff is dead as a relationship with Lucasfilm and UTA, both of whom dropped her after she shared a post suggesting that being a Republican was akin to being Jewish in the time that... No, again, this is also an incorrect... People continually and, and, and consistently try to rewrite history. No, Gina was not saying... Being a uh, Republican is the same thing as being a Jew during World War II. She never said that. You hacks said that. Still, Disney's decision to show Corona the door prompted cries from the right, including Ted Cruz and Penn Shapiro, that Cito's act uh, acts when the left is upset. Uh, it's true. Paired with the events in 2018 when ABC president Channing Dungey called out as ab uh, as abhorrent a tweet from a Trump supporter, Barr that likened Obama administration alum Valerie Jarrett to a primate, she claims to have publicists advising clients to steer clear of politics, especially anything leaning right. Think about that. Think about that. This is an open admission that there is only one acceptable political position if you work for Disney or you work in Hollywood. Quote, I don't know what people at Disney personally believe or don't believe with regards to politics, but as a corporate entity, they want to stay as trouble-free as possible. And anything that's going to offend the left is a problem, says crisis PR rep Judah Engelmeyer. I have clients who are making an extraordinary effort to post what the social left wants to see it. these people have control it's pathetic the left used to be anti-censorship anti-big corporation and nowadays they lick the boot it is so pathetically obvious these are people like i'm woke i stand with super huge mega corporations nike disney Facebook, and Twitter. Yeah, we're the resistance. Black Panther star writes December tweets which amplified a UK's minister video that questioned the safety, um, you know, of, of the, 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 uh, the thing that I can't talk about. Also garnered criticism as an August 2019 social media post from Mulan star who offered support of Hong Kong police during the government's crackdown on pro-democracy protests. Well, the star of Mulan, and thankfully that movie tanked, um, is a Chinese shill. And Disney didn't want to upset China. Let's be clear. Sources say neither actress was talked to by Disney, which opted 
to let both matters blow over. Wright deleted her Twitter account and Lou steered away from the subject the months leading up to Mulan's release. Politics, however, seemed to play a role in Disney's move to sever ties with James Gunn after in 2018 after right-wing personalities resurfaced offensive nearly decade-old tweets. I like how they <laughs> like, oh well, we're gonna minimize this, but 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 when the when somebody says something conservative or uh, right-leaning, it doesn't matter. It's still right-leaning and evil. And by the way, I was not for his termination either. The tit for tat felt good at the time after the firing of Roseanne. But it's not good. The decision to banish Carano from Disney Kingdom went higher than the Mandalorian creator, John Favreau, and was made by Lucasfilm, by Lucasfilm executives. Carano, sources say, had repeatedly been warned about her social media behavior. Meaning, to have an opinion that is not mainstream left is something that needs to be punished. That's what they're saying. Pedro Pascal, who has a trans sibling, educated her about the use of pronouns after social media flare-up. She knew it was going to alarm people, says one person in her orbit of recent posts. Why would you put Favreau in that position? Carano's ouster had a domino effect with Hasbro ending production of popular Care Dune figures. Amazon appeared to have pulled most of its Care Dune merchandise. When asked why, Amazon declined further comment. Meanwhile, the Dune figures are seeing brisk sales on eBay at prices well above original list. Insiders say... Cara Dune wasn't a part of the Star Wars series next up, a Boba Fett spinoff, but, ex but expect that a character will be recast down the road. Carano's firing comes at an inflection point for Lucasfilm, which was previously criticized for not more strongly defending Star Wars sequel trilogy stars John Boyega and Kelly Marie Tran from Mean People Online. On January 23rd, the company signaled a shift when it put out a statement in support of racist Christina Ariel, the host of High the High Republic show, after she was subject to mean replies to her anti-white tweets. Oops, I editorialized that with the facts. There is only one right opinion in, in Hollywood, and that is the left. It is pathetic. Even, even though I agree with many things that are pushed forward in, in, uh, in what I would call liberal point of views, I don't, I don't want one voice to be the only one allowed and anybody who calls him a, a calls themselves a liberal that would support this isn't a liberal they're pro censorship bootlicker they're not a liberal if you support censorship who are these weirdos that have infected the movement i stand with gina carano and will continue to do so Please share this video and send Gina some kind words on Twitter. Hashtag, we love Gina Carano. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.